Hey guys, today we're discussing Apple Card versus cryptocurrency. So, as you guys might now know, Apple recently announced that they are releasing Dun 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 Apple Card. So, if you have an iPhone, you'll be able to make charges directly to your iPhone instead of pulling out that old plastic. Because who needs Visa when you've got Apple in your pocket? Yeah. So, let's go ahead and look at this. And honestly, I'll tell you what my thoughts on this are after we discuss how it works. But let's just say it's not positive. So, when users open their wallet... They will have real-time access to their balance sheet and their most recent transactions whenever they do this from their phones. And all will be organized by color, food and drink, travel service, etc. Now, in addition, they will see different rates similar to those that are now available in the Apple Watch that allows users to measure their physical activity. The idea is to use the rings of the Apple Card and close them to reach a financial goal. Apple now brings that functionality to Wallet to help users save and better understand where they can eliminate unnecessary expenses. In addition, the card, which was developed in conjunction with the investment bank Goldman Sachs and MasterCard, will reimburse users cash for each use every day. If they use the digital card to buy Apple products or services, consumers will receive a 3% refund. Oh, how generous, Apple. For every purchase made at other stores, they will receive 2% and if they use the physical card they will get a 1% credit so they really want you to actually use it on the phone itself now in terms of the physical card because there is a physical card the physical card which is made of titanium will be more secure will not have an account number security code expiration date or space for a signature Users can access all this information in Wallet on iOS using their face or their fingerprint to open their device. Now, to further sweeten the offer, Apple says it will not charge fees or usage fees. Guys, that's going to change. They will also not charge penalties for late, penal for late payments and said that interest rates will be low because the goal is to help users pay their debt more quickly guys that is all going to change overnight can you imagine this so now apple is going to become the new card in your pocket and you know there's going to be a lot of people that run out and get this now don't forget guys you can actually use bitcoin to buy your starbucks now that's a recent thing you can actually go to starbucks and you can use your bitcoin to buy to buy your mocha frappuccino. So how does this really compare? I personally think that while a lot of people will pick this up just for the sake of being able to say, oh, I have the Apple card, it's still going to run into a number of issues. For example, where is it accepted? Well, I'm assuming that it's going to be accepted everywhere MasterCard is accepted, but there's other issues as well. Apple is going to be tracking everything you do, everything you purchase. I mean, it's going to be a nightmare, all right? Because Apple is going to use that data to now basically sell more stuff to you and force you to stay further into the Apple ecosystem. Think about it. They're already doing that, all right? When you buy Apple products, you get 3% back. Think about that. Now think about Apple approved shopping zones, Apple approved stores. At the end of the day, I think that blockchain is really going to be the next wave of credit and debit. So for example, we already have microtransactions happening every day with blockchain and you already have blockchain based lending services so i honestly think that we're going to see more blockchain based credit cards that are going to be 
funded by actual people holding crypto instead of people instead of these banks and lenders and apple you know and this is like a total classic move that uh, apple would take you know i mean look at this is what all the big companies do like g capital and all the others general motors whatever they have a ton of cash they start basically lending out that money so that they can create more debt and it's interesting because americans are already so far into debt so what are what's apple trying to do help you to build up some more debt let me know what you guys think if you agree that the apple card is only going to help people to build more debt create more debt get themselves further into more debt and they make apple a buttload more money while people who are awake people who are smarter are going to be focusing on blockchain based platforms for lending for saving for protecting their wealth and their assets and for security because apple is basically saying hey this is a card that's more secure than any card out there well on the other hand blockchain basically eliminates all of that stuff where if you don't have a private key you don't get into my account i want to know what you guys think let me know what you think in the in the description in the comments we'll talk about it don't forget facebook is supposedly also releasing their own security coin privacy coin very soon which was going to be tied directly to uh the us dollar there'll be a stable coin that can be used through whatsapp i want to know what you guys think let me know what you think in the in the comments if you're looking more towards apple card or towards using a blockchain a cryptocurrency based card for your purchases or cryptocurrency just cryptocurrency based applications for your purchases let me know where you think the future lies i don't think it lies at apple but i do think there's a lot of eye sheep that will be following just because love god get money and cheers oh and don't forget guys right now we're pretty much heading into a bull market with cryptocurrency go to cryptomoney.academy to take the latest courses we have to offer how to buy bitcoins anonymously and through secret methods introduction to cryptocurrency and of course how to day trade cryptocurrency for a living cryptomoney.academy links in the description of the video and cheers